Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Movie Couple. I'm Dustin. I'm Wendy. And we're diving into episode four of The Acolyte. We got a little bit of backstory. I knew we were going to because I just kn knew that you wouldn't hire an actress like um, Carrie Ann Moss. Oh, Moss to do just one episode and a very short part in that one episode. We got to see the backstory of our twins and I am really curious. I think we only saw one part of that series, of that side of that story. I am so curious on how the Jedi got there so fast. What was going on between the Jedi and the witches beforehand? How did Torben get those scars? Mm -hmm. So I still think there's a lot of mystery to be revealed in this series. What we do know is that May, I guess, has always been a little murderous because <laughs> just all the red flags, okay, with the wanting to kill the little butterfly, the, the, the butterfly hummingbird thing, with saying her sister, no, I won't let you leave. I'll kill you. Okay. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, this just, got dark. Just throwing that around, just at, like nothing, right? Like, like she was asking it so casually too. Like, <laughs> you want some ice cream? Just the way she asked for it. Just it was casual. If like I can't that. have you, then no one can. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Very dark kid. What I am so happy with the previous episode was that. We're getting to dive a lot deeper into um, a side of Star Wars that we don't get to see too often. I don't want to sit here and say, oh, the witches and you know are never explored, because I think that's untrue. We've seen in Clone Wars, seen it in Tales of the Empires. I'm sure we've read in the books as well. I mean, we haven't, but you guys out there um, have. And, and with the Ventress and everything, I know we've yeah. explored you know, her backstory. So it's not as if like, witches is like a brand new thing to Star Wars, but it's, I think for me it's the first time seeing them in, in like, really in depth in this way um, in a television series, so I'm really liking it. Uh, I am sad that they're all, like, dead, because now I just... <laughs> I know, I'm like, I just, I was yes, like, oh. we're going to get these cool stories, at, and they're all gone. And they're gone. all gone, and they're all gone. And but, I was so bummed, yeah, to see that they all, yeah, that they all died. <laughs> but I assume that we're going to get, you know, expositions and explainers and more flashbacks and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and get into episode four of uh, The Acolyte. Make sure you're watching the latest video or the latest episode, of course, on Disney Plus before checking out our video as it will be filled with commentary. And if you guys like our reactions, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos coming out on our channel. And now let's dive into episode four of The Acolyte. Kofar, back in the present time. Okay. Present time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he lives in that abandoned uh, aircraft. Yeah. Or it looks crashed. Like, it looks like he's, like, doing kind of like what Yoda did, you know, making himself kind of an outcast mm. and, and being in exile. Because he feels regret for what he's done mm -hmm. to the witches. Oh, oh, yeah, look at all the swirls. I'm assuming he drew all of those. Do you think May will be successful in killing him? Oh, good. I hope not. You know, he's a Wookiee. Wow. Well, he's put it all over the place. He probably dreams of it, like when they, you know. And probably. maybe that's why Torben was silent for so many years. Keep each movement tight, <gasps> oh, yet he... subtle. Maximize your defenses without need to strike. That's why they do all the fancy twirls. Mm hmm. I came to say goodbye. You're not staying? I've done what I needed to do. I may never have known for certain May was alive. And thanks to you, I've seen her with my own eyes. May is the Jedi's problem now. Hmm. <laughs> she has wants and nothing to do with her. Are they going for a hike or they're kind they're of... They're looking for... What's his name? Oh, they're mad. They're on Kofar. Oh, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't just take off if I were you. I know bounty hunters won't set foot in these forests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you have. <laughs> yes, I have. To find the Wookiee. And it was hard. That is one Jedi who doesn't want to be found. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, wow. I love the way You went looks. in there and risked your life for my master? No, I risked my life to help you. You know, your sister being alive doesn't change anything. You need to kill the Wookiee. You made a deal. Oh, interesting. Oh. Ooh. I like the mysterious music, too. It's like, there's good. We're, they're gonna go into like the cave in Empire Strikes Back. Oh, is that um, 
Oh, the Jedi Here's Master fast, on the council with the... But weak. The head. She doesn't know her master's identity, but she fears him. An apprentice who doesn't know their master. Could this be a splinter order? She's not disciplined. Yet she eluded you. And she killed two Jedi Masters. But they targeted these three. Four. Including you, Sol. Mm -hmm. The four Jedi stationed on her home planet when she was a child. It turns up all these years later, trained by one of our own. You think a Jedi taught her? Even a hologram can tell me that. We must alert the High Council. The High Council would be obliged to inform the Senate. We must learn who trained her. Master Holden, extract Kalnaka from his post on Kofar and intercept May. And if she doesn't come peacefully? Not expecting it to come to that. Adjourned everything before Saul was able to say anything. Yeah. Master Barestra, please. Why didn't you tell me about this? I did, as soon as I knew. No, Saul. 16 years ago, why didn't you tell me there was a chance this poor girl survived? If I thought there was, of course I would have. Let me be the one to bring her in. Your personal connection with her and her sister is not a benefit here. May's objective is not solely her own. You must know that. I fear May is only a small part of her master's larger plan. Always. Mm -hmm. A plan that is difficult to see. She will not surrender without getting something in return. Do we have something she wants? Her sister? Mm-hmm. Or him? Oh. I think he, I think they're thinking of her, um, of Osha. Mm. How do you kill a Jedi without a weapon? Can you use their saber if you disarm them? Is that cheating? I'm just curious how you're gonna do it this time. You, you failed so much. <laughs> I failed. You have to kill the Wookiee without a weapon. What kind of deal did you make with him? I didn't. I, we didn't it, exactly. I... I just owe him. You know how he is. He collects people. I've never seen his face. Have you? Collects people. Can't believe my sister shed ice scum. What was she like when you spoke to her? She seemed in over her head, honestly. She seemed really fond of that one Jedi master. What was his name again? Soul? Anyways, let's get going. I need your help. I need you to come with me on this mission. You want me to rejoin the Jedi? Well, not officially. <laughs> when I told May you were alive, her eyes softened. She became a different person. She's still going to be murderous. Yeah, I mean, she still tried to kill her. There is still good in her. The part of her that don't loves think you. So. She's a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> what we've been saying. Yeah. But she is still your family. I'm not wearing that civilian robe. <laughs> <laughs> Station Master Kalnaka on Kofar, but no one has heard from him in over a year. He's been unresponsive to our warning transmissions. Oh, oh is that Plo Koon? Was he that old? I think so. Was that? <laughs> Kalnaka is in there. Super inviting. Mm -hmm. We have a tracker. Oh, that's oh. what Basil does. <laughs> Fellowship of the Ring. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> but they have just a little bit bigger of a group. Well. Yord, I need to ask you a favor. Sol thinks that May can be saved. If it comes to it, and she doesn't listen to me, you need to stop her. I won't be able to do it. <laughs> and she Please. knows that he would probably. I can't hesitate a second time. Mm-hmm. May has always been your wound. Maybe Sol brought you here to face her. But maybe he brought you here to face yourself. Mm. Oh, to kind of heal this wound. We need to catch up. Oh, man, maybe he won't do it. I feel like he will. I think he would, too. Yeah, if it came to it. I still have a feeling that he's actually the master. That would be a cool twist. Because it just feels I'd love like that there's for Manny. More, more to him than what, um, um, they're, what they're leading on to. What are those? I don't know. Don't touch them. Oh, wait, we saw this in the trailer. There's some kind of... Like some bugs? Like kind those... of bugs. What is it? He says there's something wrong here. I mean... Something rotten. Oh, yeah. Keep up the pace. Keep down the volume. We don't know, and we don't want to know what lives out here. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch it. Oh, yeah, don't touch like it. little roly-polies that have kind of... Oh, become... my God. Osha, please don't of touch it. Of course she is. No. 
Don't touch. It's gonna move the second she yeah. steps away. Yep. Oh, oh you're. Oh. Uh 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 uh. Girl, just keep walking. Just ah, oh, uh, God, just rah. leave. Just leave. Oh, oh that's bad. That's turned really into bad. a flying creature. You better so. go. You better. Oh my God. I'm surprised they didn't sense that. Oh. Oh, that's a. Stand down. They're all gonna move. Oh yeah, they're all gonna start. To move. I have it. <laughs> Turn it off. Killer moths. <laughs> Don't touch any more of the them. The caption called it an umbra, umbra moth. Oh. Or umbra moth. I was able to sense that creature. Oh. But I disturbed it. And now it's dead. It's always an honor to get to witness anything or anyone transform into the Force. Although you've had more experience with death than I have. Well, I could never accept death as a true Jedi should. A true Jedi? I couldn't accept what I lost. How unfair it felt. The resentment that I felt for my sister. Even though I, I missed her at the same time. We're not defined by what we lose. We're defined by what we survive. It's a very Jedi-like saying. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. You can't stop now. I have to fight a Wookiee after this trek. I'd like to rest for a minute. It's not a test. He calls it the final lesson. It's not impossible. You know that. I want this more than anything, but it's impossible. And if I don't do it, they'll kill me. You're losing your nerves. We can't have that, can we? I want to know his story, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, was she feigning how tired she was? So he'd go away and then she'd go on her own? Maybe. We've lost Basil. Oh, what? May! Oh, is that May? Oh, it seems like they're close together. Oh! She did it to him on purpose. Why would she do that to him? After running through that forest for an extremely long time, I realized something. I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to kill a Jedi without a weapon. I don't need to keep this deal. What? You were wrong. Osha being alive changes everything. Huh. My loyalty is to Osha, not your master. <laughs> what are you doing? What I'm going to do is surrender myself to Kalnaka and then turn myself into the Jedi. Well, that's an interesting turn in the Ye story. Yeah. The Jedi will put you in prison. Not after I tell them who I know. <gasps> oh. He'll kill you. You'd have to find me first. Oh, well, you'll be in Not prison. I don't know if even he could make it all the way over here without a guide. Unless your theory is right and it's it. actually Manny Jacinto. I, I think it is. Because it's in this forest we see in the trailer. That's what we think, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's with all these Jedis. I sense things again in a way that gives me the courage to face her. You're not going to face her. You're going to face your past. Both of us will. Oh, they're both Once looking for get healing. May safely to the ship. I'll explain everything. Oh my gosh. Please survive past episode oh, four. Oh, you're right. This is... Anytime someone says that in a movie, I'll tell you all about it once, once this is and over. And they don't survive. And they don't survive. No, he will. He has to. He has to? Does he? Right? Uh. Oh. oh, what the? Hey, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's found May. Master Kilnaka. <gasps> He's already He's, dead. He's, He's gone. He's gone. Yeah, that's not a sleeping pose. No. Oh, oh, oh and it's with here. a lightsaber. He's here. Oh, and it turns turn dark. dark. The sun just set. Anyone inside that dormitory should come out with your hands where we can see them. That means you, May Anasea. He feels it. He, it's he's behind been feeling you. it. Oh, is he floating in? What oh, we heck? finally get to see him. What the heck? What? Because he said that in the trailer. Yeah. <gasps> what is that? Oh, it's oh so... yeah. Identify I wonder yourself. if that is Darth Plagueis' master, Darth Ter Ten Ten. Ten Stand Ten down. Oh my God! He gets oh. like in her face. Those are. What the heck? 
kind of kind of has a kind of. Oh god, that scared me. Watch out! Run! Oh, oh crap! Whoa. Oh my! Please don't! No! Whoa. to leave it on that and to show just how powerful he he's got to be a sith lord i mean oh, that, that is just some incredible force power to be able to do that to so many jedi i'm so mad this episode let, ended here I'm, yeah. so, I'm so mad and it was such a short episode in comparison mm -hmm. to the last one it was like 30 some minutes i actually expected to go down like for like i don't know for them to encounter him a little bit before we cut out yeah, yeah, or at least to have a little bit of a fight that happens beforehand. But yeah, it was just pretty much he's there and then poof, he's gone. Okay, you you have put in my head that it could be quite Quimir, I think, or Kimir. Quimir, it's the uh, the character that Manny plays. Oh, oh you, yeah, you he has it, that full helmet. You put it and in his my head. Hand did look humanoid. And also like just like the stature, and I'm like, could it be could it be him? Is it a guy? We don't know. We don't know. Uh, and I'm so mad because I want to know. <laughs> well, I also think it could only be him. Only he could have made it to um, the Wookiee, killed him before May did. Because he, he's already tracked him. Yeah. And, but the thing is though, those wounds still looked like fresh because they were still glowing. It looked like there was like little like burning embers still left on the um, on the lightsaber wound. I kind of so, don't want it to be him. I kind of want it to be like a whole separate person. I kind of want it yeah, to be a separate person as well. Yeah. I don't know how I feel exactly about yeah it being him, but a part of me is kind of like that seems the kind of twist that they would kind of do. Yeah. Um, but I want I, what I really want it to be is to have some connection to. Um, some of the other Darth Lords that we know out there, you know, uh, some connection to Darth Plagueis or Dar um, his master or his master's master kind of a mm. thing. Or that, but once again, are we going to dive deep into the Sith lore? Because the Jedi still think, even in the um, prequels, that, you know, the Sith have been extinct for a millennia. So they've got to come away not thinking that this is a Sith Lord. So it, do they just miscategorize him as, oh, he's just a dark side user, not really a Sith? Or is he going to be classified as like a witch? Or I'm really curious on where this is going. Because we've seen that no matter how good of a story you tell, if you don't stick this landing, <laughs> and that's what a lot of these like murder mystery kind of um, stories have, you have to stick that landing. Yeah, and also now you've got me thinking that um, with what Soul said, like we'll both face her in our past, and then like once once we're out of this, I'm paraphrasing, I'll tell you everything, and I'm just like, no, would they? Would they? But the, could they could because as of right now, the four Jedi that were stationed there that had anything to do with that event with the witches have all been killed except for soul yeah so that so means it would make sense if they're somehow they're able to you know like kill him also and then he won't be able to tell the story and that will force may and osha to kind of reunite and work together to kind of like figure out exactly what happened i wouldn't be surprised but i don't want that i think what's going to happen is that they're going to get back to the ship because all he did was force push them away because he probably knows that he can't really take on this many Jedi. He probably force pushed them away and he's getting... I beg to differ. GTFO. With someone who was that powerful with the force, one single force push, and they can't take on that many Jedi? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Well, we'll find out, but I'm hoping that they'll get back to the ship and Soul will be like, this is what happened. And, and then episode tell... 5 will be an exposition. Yeah, ex episode 5 will be <laughs> As... another flashback, but from his perspective. But we still haven't seen what happened from May's perspective. I think we're going to get just slowly a bit of different per perspectives of the past and what happened. I do like that she had a change of heart and she tricked um, Quimir, uh, Quimir into the whole, you're right, 
ha- knowing my sister is, is alive changes everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and that does give me hope of like, yeah, I know we're kind of like joking and saying she's murderous, whatever. And she does exhibit those things, but she's grown. Maybe she's had a change of heart and see her sister kind of made, made herself reflect and go, you know what? Maybe all of this wasn't worth it. My sister's alive and I have a chance to make it right. But it's weird because I don't, I don't know. You tried to kill your sister for just wanting to explore. Just for her wanting own, to go, yeah. yeah. Just wanting to, ex- yeah, explore her own path. So, but it does mean a lot. She said, "I'll turn myself in." Yeah, but and you know? honestly, that I feel like that is out of character from what we saw in the last episode because she was so adamant about her not going. You lied to me about lying to the Jedi. I just, I just think they're both grown, and there's a lot of. They've both gone through a lot since, and maybe she's had some thinking time. <laughs> and she's thinking, maybe, you know, threatening to kill my sister and starting a fire, like, trying to kill her was not the way to go. Um, I don't know. We joke, but it's 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 interesting to see where the, the character, both of their characters go. So, oh, I'm, I'm so excited for the next episode. I am so mad. That's where they, they left us. I'm mm-hmm. so mad, but I'm very excited. Um... I feel like progressively so far the series has gotten each episode has gotten better and better and better. I really enjoyed episode three. I enjoyed this one as well, but I really I think I liked episode three, especially because of like the lore about the witches. Yeah. Um, knowing that this is an eight episode series, there's always a little bit. And we've seen this in other shows too, in other Star Wars uh, series that like they run out of time at the end and everything's super rushed and. It doesn't really quite land land the uh, ending, and then it makes the whole, you feel about the whole show like, oh, womp, womp, you could have had something there, but then yeah. you, you know, you rushed it or whatever. So I'm really hoping for like a really solid, like really good. I'm liking the story so far. I'm liking the characters. Like, please let it be good. Um, so, but anyways, we have four more to go before we get to the end. So they've got they got a bit. Guys, let us know your thoughts on episode four in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss the videos. And we will see you soon.